finally, oh my god, finally, I actually got an MK11 nuke. So now I don't have to, I don't have to use this gun ever again. I hated using this gun, I really did. Um, I really didn't like how inconsistent it was. And I also really don't like getting killed by it in game because it kills so quick. So the combination of it being inconsistently overpowered, I guess is what I can say is why I really don't want to use this gun anymore. Um, I'm pretty excited to not use it. Plus, it doesn't really fit my playstyle. I'd rather use, like, the SCAR, the AK, or the, uh, I don't know, just any other assault rifle besides the MK, really. That's all I'd ask for. I mean, it's semi-auto, like, nature is just kind of weird, and, I mean, I guess I made it full auto with the, uh, trigger finger, uh, perk i always use that by the way that's one perk i always use trigger finger because if i need to like pull out my pistol and pistol whip somebody like the pistol the tac 45 is very very underrated because it's fiery and it's like i guess what is it bullet spread i don't even know what to call it in this game hip fire spread whatever it's very very good and if you can stay accurate with it um it's pretty useful very useful i think it's better than the mp412 simply because it's like the MP412 has a lot longer time in between shots than the uh, TAC does. You can fire the TAC faster is what I'm saying. So yeah, I don't. I think I went 50 and 4 in this gameplay. I choked a double nuke again. But the thing that really stunk about this was right, as, like, right after I got my nuke, a lot of the other team left. Things really slowed down. And I mean, it's a big map. Or it's one of the bigger maps in this game too, I'm pretty sure. So it's very spread out, I guess. Not that it's big, it's just very spread out. So I was having a hard time finding where they were spawning. And my team kept pushing in, and that's always an issue. Uh, I tried to move around a little bit more in this gameplay, as you guys can see. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened here, but no. Moving around a little bit, I don't want to be on the roof the whole time. Like the last M40 nuke I got. Um, yeah, that uh, that's probably boring, especially like the M200. Oh, watch this. I got a one bullet uh collateral headshot that was so sick but like i was saying yeah for my m200 nuke and my m40 nuke i just kind of stayed on the roof because i didn't really know what to do this time i actually kind of ran around plus i was using an assault rifle so it's like i had a little bit more freedom with what i wanted to do i'm pretty sure i'm a lot better with the assault rifles anyway than i am with snipers or whatnot i mean it really depends though too i mean the snipers they're not terribly hard to use like, I went over my M40 nuke. Yeah, my M40 nuke. That's when I went over that. Not the M200. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm finally on break, as I was saying in my last commentary. And, I mean, I don't know if anyone else that's watching this is or whatnot. Or if you guys still have a little bit more school to go. But, if you guys are on break, like, let me know in the comments. You know, if you guys have anything interesting planned. I mean, to the few people who comment, the few loyal people. You know, they know, you guys know who you are. You know, I don't even need to say your names. You guys are, you guys are too awesome for me to even say your names. Like, I, I can't do it. I mean, but yeah, uh, I'm pretty excited for break. I have a little bit, well, I have a decent amount of things planned. I'm pretty excited. Um, just kind of chill out with friends and family and play some Xbox and all that good stuff. And of course, play Bullet Force. I mean, that's what I did right here, duh. I usually wake up and I play like 30 minutes of Bullet Force whenever I have like off from school or something like that and hopefully get a gameplay and in this case I got a gameplay. I think this was this is my second game on I think so I really just had to play two games which was nice because I got to get up and I got to do a few things today. Um, yeah I'm looking forward to just kind of chilling over break though. I got to drive for a few hours today in a bit though so that's not going to be bad, but that's not really going to be preferred, so I'll have to figure that out, obviously. I don't even know if I'm going yet. Uh, I'll figure it out, you know. Nothing like some good last-minute planning, right? Uh, but, yeah. So, after I get the uh, MK11 nuke... Or, no, no, what am I saying? After I get the nuke with... Or, a nuke with every gun... Sorry, I just woke up, like... Well, I mean, not just. I've been awake for, like, 45 minutes. I'm still kind of out of it. But after I get a nuke with every gun, 
if you guys really want, you guys can torture me and leave me recommendations in the comments and classes to use and guns to use and stuff like that. Um, just to mess around a bit, keep the game fresh. That's how I have fun with it. I kind of like switching guns up, classes up, perks up. Uh, right here is where I die. This is just dumb. I was really pissed about it because I didn't know where this guy came from. Yeah, I, oh wait, no. I don't, do I die here? Yeah, I definitely die here. And I missed that guy in the bottom left right there. Shout out to me for doing that. Yeah, right here is where I die. I was pretty upset. Because I was like, should I go for a streak? Should I call in the nuke? I didn't know if I wanted to upload this part of the gameplay. Uh, I was probably going to cut it off until... Yeah, I was probably going to cut it off as I got the nuke. However, more people joined right as I call it in. You guys will see. It's like, great. I got five kills instead of four or something like that that I would have. I mean, I think, yeah, I got five people with that. And you can, you guys can see, if I waited to call that in, I mean, I think two people backed out after that, though. So, you know, they got a nice little warm welcome, literally. And back that God, I need to stop talking. But I probably will keep talking <laughs> until the end of this. I don't even know how much time is left in the gameplay. I don't really know what else I can talk about besides the MK11, how the scoped MK11, I think, is possibly better than the... Uh, just any regular sighted MK11. Uh, I think it's like that because with the snipers, you know, you can sit back. Like, it forces you to sit back. And if you can draw people in, you can bait them with it. Like, it's pretty easy to get kills with the snipers. And the MK11, since you can kind of be more reckless with the shots, like, you can afford to miss more shots, I guess, than you can with the sniper. Like with the M200 or the M40, obviously, you know, they're bolt actions, so it's a lot more time in between shots. Whereas with the MK, especially with trigger finger, this thing can just go. And you don't even need to, like, hold down trigger finger. You can just kind of tap. That's usually what I do, and that's what I did in this gameplay. I really just kind of, I tapped the trigger a decent amount. I don't even know if I held it down here. Yeah, you guys can see I tapped it there. Oh, man, excuse me. I'm tired. Jeez. Anyway. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I go on another streak here, and I have a sad ending, and I cried, and no, it wasn't, I didn't cry, and it wasn't that high of a streak either, I mean, I could have possibly, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened there, I guess I just kind of suck at this game, um, did I just run past someone? I don't even know, oh jeez, okay, I got that guy, I got so lucky with those shots, you guys can see I stopped there for a second, and was like, what the hell? And then right here was even weirder, too. I think is... I don't even know if this is the part I'm thinking of. Yeah, no. I thought... Th I got so lucky landing on that fence, too. But I thought there was someone in one of the corners in that in that uh, building. And right here, I don't know what that... That was probably one of the level ones. Poor guy. R.I.P. We're, we're only at 86 kills in this gameplay. I'm just realizing that. Jeez. I really hope there's not much left... Uh, time in this or not much time left jeez i really can't speak this is an atrocious commentary um whoever listens to these i really don't understand how you do it i'm kind of impressed actually that you can put up with me for this long that guy flashbanged himself i remember this now yeah that's that's the spot i'm fucking talking about right here this guy i don't know what he was doing i don't know how he had a flashbang i mean i guess he probably bought one as a level one i forget how i die here too Oh man, I'm gonna go again. Yeah, look at this. Okay, watch. Do you guys see how low I hit that guy for health, right? Then I go downstairs to get him, put a bullet into him. He had 30 something health. I remember that. I can't see it because of the recording bar, but I remember he had like 30, like 36. I don't know. But still, and then right here again, I'm lagging. So it's like frust it's frustrating as hell. Oh yeah, no, this is the end of the gameplay because I end up going 50 and 4. So thanks for watching, guys. I got. More than half my team's kills. I'm pretty happy about that. Enjoy the gameplay. Peace out.